Oh no, I did to the lead! Welcome back to Flannel Farms, my name is Brian. In order to build a do-it-yourself pool heater, you're going to need one galvanized metal trash can, you're going to need soft, flexible copper pipe, a sump pump of sorts, you will need hose clamps, a drill bit, a drill, a screwdriver, and a garden hose. You're gonna take your trash can, flip it over, drill a hole in the bottom, and one in the top. You're gonna to put your coiled copper in there with an inlet and an outlet. Drill a few holes in the top as well. You're going to cut your hose in half and hose clamp it from your sump pump to your bottom copper inlet and then from the outlet of the copper back into the pool. And then you are going to build a fire underneath it and it will heat the coil and the water and put it back into the pool. That's it. Costs you approximately three or four hundred bucks. If you look at a standard propane pool heater right now, they're running somewhere between 2,500 upwards of God knows how much money. So, that's all you need. If you want to watch us build one, we're going to do that now. We put the pool up yesterday. It's nice and warm out today. I think the high is 82. This will burn off, don't worry about that. But I'm peeling it anyways, because I like to peel sticky. The pool is getting filled with well water right now. And that temperature, I think it comes out at 56 degrees. This one came with a boogered up end, so we're gonna cut that off. Now, how well this works in terms of heating up your pool depends on the numbers. How many gallons a minute does your pump put out? How big is your opening? How hot is your fire? BTUs, all that good stuff. What I do know is this will make it warmer than it is right now. Should look something like that. This cheap little sump pump from Harbor Freight. I think it was 100 bucks, 120. This one does roughly four or 500 gallons an hour. You're gonna want a sump pump because they pull in water from the bottom and eject it from the top. So this will sit on the bottom of your pool. And as I'm sure you all know with the laws of thermodynamics and some such stuff, the coldest water is gonna be in the bottom because it's gonna sink. So you'll be pulling the coldest water out and circulating it. Cutting a perfectly good hose. So that's your inlet, just a couple hose clamps. Here's your outlet, a couple hose clamps, going into your pool. Yeah! Sump pump, exit. And what we're gonna do is build a fire right there. And that's gonna heat that up. Then we'll do a test, see what the temperature is as it comes out. You also might want to put a couple of vent holes up in the top. Current pool temp. That's showing very well. 65 degrees. And see what it's coming out of the let's see what it's coming out of the heater at. Now we haven't done anything yet to add heat. I just want to give an accurate reading. Roughly 65. It's about five degrees. 0.5 degrees colder at the bottom. Let's build a fire. Alright, so we just built the fire and it's been going maybe five minutes and we're already pumping out water that's 85, 86 degrees. Obviously not coming out very fast, but it's warm. There you go. To give credit where credit's due, this was not my idea. So there's a guy I work with. He's one of my old captains in the firehouse. I'm not gonna name him due to him not being embarrassed and being in one of my videos. But you know who you are. I appreciate it. 
we just bulked it up a little bit. So thanks for joining us today. Grow as you grow. We'll see you next time on Flannel Farms. Bye. That's not right. Blah, blah, blah.